When it comes to modifying four-wheel drive utes for camping and touring, the first thing most people do is do away with the factory tub to make way for a custom tray and canopy. Yep, something like that. But do you really need to do that, or can you build a full camping setup while keeping the original tub? Today, we're taking a look at a kick-ass dual cab setup that does exactly that. Check out this beast of a Colorado that belongs to a good mate of mine. What's up guys and welcome to a very special rig rundown. I want you to meet a very good mate of mine, James, who has turned this beast of a Colorado into the touring rig that it is today. James, welcome to this side of the camera for once. How you going guys, James here. This is my 2009 Holden Colorado, three litre diesel manual and uh, yeah, my baby. I think the best way to cover all the mods, and there's a lot of them, is going to be by starting from the front and working back, starting with the engine. So what's powering the beast? What mods have you done and what else is going on under the bonnet? So as I was saying, it's a three litre diesel. Uh, I've had the engine remapped, which produces about 440 newton metres of torque and about 150 horsepower to the rear wheels. So I've upgraded the factory exhaust to the three inch mantle all the way back. I've, uh, I've got an onboard ARB compressor that has a small braided hose that feeds the front of the bull bar, which I can pump up all my tyres with. I've even installed some hydraulic gas struts to make the engine bay more accessible. So moving forward, run us through what you've got up the front here. So I've got the ARB steel bull bar here and it's been pretty indestructible so far. Also, I have these Nava HRD spotties on the front. Not so good for spread, but great for long distance. To make up for the lack of spread, I've converted the standard headlights to LEDs. Oh nice, you actually converted the factory headlights to LED. Yep. What, um, what brand kit did you use? I used the steady one and they are fantastic. So I've been trying to ignore the elephant in the room, but you've got to tell me, what is this? <laughs> It's my big black antenna. <laughs> so this is my 6.6 .6 decibel GME antenna. I bought this one because you can actually remove it so I can fit inside my garage. I notice in the front here you've got yourself a nice winch. What are the specs on that? So it's a 7 horsepower brew systems winch with a 12,000 pound nylon rope. Nice, does the job? Absolutely. Actually, I can attest to that, having been pulled out of the bog a few times by it. <laughs> Moving around the side of the car, I notice you've got the Safari snorkel. Is that something that was on the car when you bought it, or have you installed it yourself? Put it on myself. Bit of a difficult job, and a bit scary, to be honest. But Yeah, I've heard that snorkels are a bit of a nasty job to install, so wouldn't recommend having a go yourself. Uh, I'd recommend it, but yeah, just be careful. Put aside a fair bit of time. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alrighty, talk to us about these tyres. So here I've got the 32-inch Cooper ST Maxxes. Uh, they're... Not very loud on the road, which is pretty good. Nice. Um, fantastic for sand. Probably wouldn't use them too much for mud, but for sand, they're fantastic. Yeah, I can definitely attest to them being very capable on the sand. Having followed James through some very boggy situations, he just bounces through with these. <laughs> and you got them on 16 inch rims? Yep. So, up top here is something I know I'm very jealous of. <laughs> and after seeing it today, I'm pretty sure Bianca's quite jealous as well. Tell us about your new rooftop tent. So it's the Drifter Stockton 1.2, um, the pop-up tent. It's a hard shell on one side and it takes about a minute to set up, which is fantastic for me. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm very jealous watching him undo a couple of clips. <laughs> the tent just sets up, fantastic. Super quick. So I've actually installed a 160 watt King's solar panel on the roof with the adjustable bars, uh, which just gives that battery a little bit of extra juice. I've also got a 2.5 meter King's awning on the passenger side and two supernova work lights under the tent on the back. So how do you find the space on the inside being the smaller of the two models, is it? Yes, yes it is. Um, I find it plentiful for one person, two, a little bit squeezy, but nonetheless, very comfortable. Yeah. It seems to be a little bit more spacious than my rooftop tent because the sides almost go outwards, whereas with the June model, they go in. So while the mattress is the same size, you do get a bit more internal space with these ones. Moving on to the interior, run us through what you've got going on in here. So I've got the Sony AX500 here, head unit. Got 
boost and exhaust gas temperature gauges up on the top of the panel. Uh, got the UHF radio down here and the main unit sits in there. Oh, Make so that's one of those slimline ones, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. Yeah, very nice. You yeah. can't mount it anywhere really. It exactly, looks neat. tucked away nicely. And I also have a amp and sub combo. It's the, the kicker amp and sub combo. Oh, it's, it's the kicker hideaway. Yep. The it's slim, similar to mine, but the next model yep, up. Yep, the slim line one, so it sits under the seat. Very nice. Give that sound system a bit of an extra kick. Absolutely. Alrighty, moving on to the back and the bit that I think makes your setup the most unique, and that's the fit out you've built inside your factory tub. Is it a factory hard lid, by the way? Uh, yes, it is. Yep. Oh, nice. Yes. Is it wired through your central locking? No, no, oh, gotcha. no, unfortunately yeah. not. Show us what's inside your factory tub. Here we go. So hopefully you can see inside here, I know it's a very bright day, so the camera might struggle to pick up the detail. We'll definitely put in some close-up pans, but walk us through what you've done in the back, starting with that water setup on the right-hand side. <laughs> so I've got a 20-litre jerry crown, which I've rigged up to a compressor for pressurised water. So all you do is turn this on, pump your compressor up. Oh, running water, running very water. nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So no matter what level your water's at, you can just pressurize it and it comes out. Exactly. Yep. Very cool. All right. You got the uh, Titan drawers in the middle here, I see. Yes. So originally I bought these and they were side by side, but with the hard lid, I couldn't actually fit the fridge in. Mm. So yeah, so I've cut them in half, mounted them on top of each other, and you still get a little fridge slide for uh, cooking and whatnot, which uh, works Very a nice. treat. Works as a bit of a bar top when it's <laughs> extended. 100% does, yeah. Very nice. Yep. That's awesome. Definitely a nice snug fit too, I can oh, see it's, there. It's, it's amazing like millimeters. That That's awesome. <laughs> and you got the uh, angle fridge on the side here? Yep, four little angle fridge. I've uh, probably had that God, probably a good seven, eight years. Yeah. And no yeah, issues at all. Good thing about the long life, good yeah. things about long life of angle never, fridges. Never had an issue with it, so it's good. Fantastic. Yep. And then I see you got your power system on the yes. very end here. Yes, I've got the King's, I think it's a 1500 watt inverter. Yep. Um, yeah, great for all your little 240 volt accessories. Yeah, it seems to fit really nicely on top mm. of yours. Is that a custom battery box? Yes, yes, oh, yes. We've got that battery box around it uh, yeah, to nice. fit snug in there. Yeah, yeah. you've got a uh, deep cycle battery inside yes. there. Yep, yep. Deep Very cycle nice. battery. I think it's 110 amp hour. Yep. So I've got the switches there, which one actually feeds the JCAR LED strip, which are bright as anything at night time. When it comes to cooking, just open this drawer up and I've got the King's stainless steel table, which locks. Oh, so convenient. Like that. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> And my Very cooktop nice. sits up there. I've got my little gas bottle that sits in there and I can cook all my food. That's awesome. You still use both the drawers with the table attached, yeah, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. All opens up and you can get to whatever you need. Oh, that's very neat. I like yeah. it. And I can see you've also got a fair bit of extra space in here to chuck in a few bits and pieces when you go away. Yep. And your tailgate acts as a bit of extra table space. <laughs> it's got me out of a few sticky situations. <laughs> or a seat when James leaves his camping seat at home, yeah. which has happened more than one time. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so that really goes to show what you can do with a factory tub. It's all about that creativity. One thing I forgot to touch on was the suspension. So what have you done to fit these 32 inch tires? So I have a two inch Bilson uh, lift at the front and the back and a one and a half inch body lift just to help fit those tires a bit nicer. Nice, and it rides nice and comfortably on the oh, Bilstein. It's super soft. So as you can see, this is a very comprehensive setup built to suit James's needs perfectly. And I just think that's fantastic. More than just the camping setup though, I can attest to this being a very capable four wheel drive off-road. It doesn't get bogged very often, do you? No, not really. Except for when you drive off the track at Lancelin. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for letting us take a look through your rig, James. No worries, anytime. Yeah, very uh, capable and well set up machine. Do you have any uh, plans for the future or is it pretty much set up the way you want? Pretty much set up how I want, but if I change anything in the future, I'll let you guys know. Fantastic, yeah, it certainly looks like you uh, camp out of it with ease. Anyway, hopefully that's given you guys some ideas for your setups if you're not wanting to go for a tray and canopy and you're wanting to instead stick with your factory tub. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks again for showing us your car and we'll catch you guys in the next one. No worries, mate. <laughs>